But now going to work shows how some candidates fare better than others when they take that first step to employment, the interview. Want to make an early start my first day? Yeah, I'll get Jason round to my mum's. She doesn't mind having him. Oh, no, I reckon she'll be pleased with the chance. Okay, bye. Oh, good luck with the interview. Good luck with the temping. Bye. Who the hell are you? I'm Kay Mansfield, the new temp. What do you think you're doing? Well, I was told to get on with the filing. It's charming, isn't it? Somebody might have mentioned it to me. This is supposed to be my office, you know. I'm sorry. What would you like me to do, Mr. Prentice? Uh, you'd better get on with it. I suppose you've got your own system. I've had three temps in the last two months, all doing things different ways. I never know where I am. It is all labelled and indexed. It had better be. You girls only stay a few weeks. Me, I'm stuck with it. Look, Mr Prentice, I don't know what sort of people you've had working here lately, but when I do something, I do it the best I can, so perhaps you could hold your complaints until I do something wrong. That's supposed to put me in my place, was it? Just a statement of fact, that's all. Very well, I'll reserve my judgement until I've seen what you can do, then. Thanks. Right, then, when you've finished that filing, you can uh, revise this driver's list. Perkins has broken his wrist, the stupid twit. You'll have to divide his deliveries between the other blokes. And don't go thinking you can just load them all onto one of them. There's regulations about the number of hours they can work. Yes, I know. I've read them up. Oh, have you now? Well, remember, this company is not made of money. We have to save fuel, so try to work out the most sensible routes. Do you think you can handle that? I'll do my best. Supposed to be the organiser's job, but I don't know when we'll be seeing her again. Is she off sick too? Oh, that's a sore point with me, that. You know, you lot are always going on about equal opportunities. Well, that may be fair enough when it comes to pay and conditions, but you never hear of a bloke being given three months maternity leave, do you? I suppose you're another one who's just filling in time till you can start a family, eh? No, actually, uh, I had a baby a couple of months ago. My husband lost his job, so I'm doing a bit of temping to bring some money in till he finds another. Oh. Oh, well, I'm sorry about that. It's a rotten thing to happen to a bloke, that. It's a rotten thing to happen to anyone, Mr. Prentice. Uh... Look, uh, you fancy a coffee. This is a lot better than that muck you get out the machine. Thanks. I'd love one. Chaz, you could pack that in or you'll be out. Ten nudges, it said, and I only got eight. Don't worry about him, Claudia. Don't add up anyway. I would have got the jackpot. You don't have to put it back in the machine again. <laughs> Look, are any of you going to buy anything? Mr. Foreman will go fair. I mean, the place has been crowded out all morning and there's only a few quid in the till. Yeah, you can buy us a cup of tea if you like, Claudia. After all, you are the only one that's earning. Yeah. Only till Saturday. I'm just part-time. Holiday relief, that's all. Oh, it. shame. I'll still be in the same boat as the rest of us come next week, Claudia. Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> I've got an interview. One of those traineeships at Eula Booth's. Oh, yeah, me too. Anyone know how many's going? Well, there's only three places left, and there's only six from our school and six from St Mary's. They'll yeah. probably get them. Brainy lot they are. Oh. Got a few decent teachers in here. Yeah, mix them up, Oh, oh, oh well, I, I think it's three copies on me, then. You what? Now, come on, don't be tight. Oh, God, here we are, last the big spenders. What the fun is going to you like? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone know what's it like? What? You look boob. Yeah, mm. it's a real bump. My brother did his scheme here, packing clothes in boxes. Dead boy. Oh, look, you mustn't mind my Monday morning moans. Helps me get it out of my system. I'll try and remember that in future. <laughs> yes, I wish you were staying with us a bit longer. And do with a few more like you. A fair day's work for a fair day's pay. That's what I was brought up to. Nobody seems to believe in that anymore. 
Maybe you don't give them a chance. Oh, you could be right. Anyway, I've got to interview for that new batch of trainees tomorrow. And I'm not looking forward to that, I can tell you. How many have you got to choose from? They're sending a dozen. Oh, I dare say one or two of them might be keen enough, but when you can only give them five minutes apiece, it's hard to pick out who's the best of the bunch. Down to first impressions as much as anything. And asking the right questions. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, I might ask you to sit, uh, sit in on the interviews, take a few notes. Oh, okay. I reckon they might be grateful for a bit of advice and all. Oh, it's a pink panther. Great. Cut it, please, Claudia. What have you done to your hair? My kid. Yeah, I suppose so. Takes a bit of getting used to, though. Oh, I won't keep it that long, really. I reckon it looks great. I don't know what they'll think about it at the interview. <coughs> well, even if they don't like it, they won't be able to ignore me, will they? You're supposed to make an impression, aren't you? That's what the careers officer said. I don't think that's quite what you had in mind. Get some tempies, will you, Claudia? There's one bloke who won't be dressing up for the interview. You must have had that teacher on for the last two months. Get on, it was clean on this week. Well, that's funny because there's a distinct pong of sweat and engine off from where I'm sitting. You're daft the way you chuck money in that machine, you know. I'm trying to work out a system. I'm sure it follows a pattern before it pays out the jackpot. Yeah? Well, you're messed, you'll be bankrupt before you work it out. <laughs> well, hey! Oh. <laughs> if anyone says anything, I'll flatten them. Where'd you nick that from, Winston? Is Winston, isn't it? It's <laughs> nearly strangling me. The one made me wear it. She's dead keen for me to do well at that interview. Suppose your younger brother will be going on one of these schemes. Oh, I don't know. Well, there's a guaranteed place by Christmas if you're 16. Yeah, but Eddie he reckons it's just cheap labour. Wants to get himself a proper job. Oh, well, there's not a lot of those about. I think he's just finding that out. They're not all roses for the employer, you know, these schemes. But the government pays for everything, though, don't they? Oh, yeah, there'll be some who make a profit, I know, but uh, me and Mr Newell worked it out. Newell and Booth will end up subsidising this scheme. How's that? Well, we're taking on a lot of kids. That means we need supervisors, people to do the training, administrators. Then we've got to create a new system for assessing who's worth keeping on at the end of the year. If there are any jobs to offer. Yeah, quite. Plus, there's another expense that nobody's thought of. What's that? Treatment for the ulcer that it's giving me. <laughs> no, I preferred the old apprentice system. I knew where I was with that. Well, it looks like that's gone for good. Anyway, first interview in uh, six minutes, Mr Prentice. Ooh, well, we'd better be getting down there, then. You're first, aren't you? Yeah. Hello, I'm Claudia Richardson. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Brenda Sykes. You got a St Mary's? Not anymore. I left at the end of last term. Same as us. We were at Mission Road. It's real dump. So I've heard. I hate interviews, don't you? I always remember things I should have said after I come out. We used to do mock interviews in class. That helps a bit. There's some questions they always seem to ask. Good morning. Morning, Miss. Could we see uh, Brenda Sykes first, please? That's me, Miss. This way. Good luck. Thanks. Did anyone fancy a game of cards? Winston. Yes, yes. Well, your academic record is not too good, is it, Brenda? Of course, we're not looking for geniuses, but you need to write out order forms, make up invoices, add up figures. Oh, I can do that. I'm not thick, you know. Oh, no, no, I'm sure you're not. Uh, I just don't like exams. I've never been any good at them. I get on well with people, though. That's important too, isn't it? Uh, yes, yes, yes. And I can take responsibility. I was captain of the netball team at school. Oh, you oh. like sports? Oh, yeah, all of them. I played in the age group county finals at tennis. And I was in the swimming athletic teams, too. So, you're physically pretty fit. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's good. There's a lot of lifting and carrying in our department. We've got very good sports facilities at Newell and Booth, too. You'd enjoy that. Now then, what about ambitions? What sort of job do you see yourself doing in, say, ten years' time? I don't know. Well, you must have some idea, surely. I just want a job, really. Do you have any special aptitudes? 
Okay. Well, um, what sort of thing do you feel you do well? I don't know, really. It's hard to say. Well, tell us about your interests, then. What, what kind of things you do in your spare time? All sorts. Perhaps you could give us a few examples. I watch a bit of telly. Ah, good. W what kind of programmes? All sorts. Is there anything else? Don't know, really. Look, um, I know these interviews are a bit of an ordeal, but um, we're really just trying to find out about you, that's all. And Well, we can't do that if you don't tell us anything. Yes, miss. So, let us get back to aptitude. What have you done in the last year or so that you're really pleased with? Don't know, really. <sighs> what makes you think you'd like to work here? Well, one of your personnel people gave a talk at our school and, well, he made it all sound quite interesting. And the fact that it came at all shows that you want to recruit locally. Mm. Mm. Yes, it's company policy. Yeah, yeah he said. Uh, he arranged for us to have a look around the factory too. I like the idea that we get to work in different departments. I suppose it helps you to find out what we're good at. And uh, it helps us to choose where we'd like to work if we're kept on at the end of the year. Mm. So, so what interests you most? Oh, maintenance at the moment. Oh. But that might change after I've been here a while. I'm always tinkering about with bits of machinery at home. Yes, well, of course, uh, if we do keep you on at the end of the year, there's no guarantee which department you work in. Yeah, I know. Yes, and some of the work here is boring and repetitive. I've got a holiday job in a cafe at the moment. A lot of people think that's boring, but I'm quite enjoying it. Ah. So, how about uh, qualifications? Uh, I've got passes in art, needle, work and dress. Ah, so your interests are on the artistic side, hmm? I like clothes, yeah. Oh, well, you should enjoy working here, then. Oh, I don't mean your sort of gear. Oh, no offence, but, I mean, it is a bit out of date. Yes, well, we're not into fashion, of course. We're a different end of the market, you see. Did you design the outfit you're wearing? Yeah, it's just bits and pieces, really. But you put it all together. Certainly very unusual. Jumble sale stuff, mainly. Do you go to a lot of jumble sales? Well, depends what I'm looking for, really. Some are real drag. You get these old dudes, you know, you wouldn't think butter would melt in their mouths. But they knock you over walking sticks, stop you getting a blouse they fancy. Still, I like wearing lots of different clothes. Besides, I can't afford to do it any other way. Yes, well, I, I think we are uh, drifting a little off the subject. Now, which department here interests you, uh, Laura? Um... Have you had any work experience at all? I used to do a paper round. I suppose that's work experience, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes. I did one myself when I was a boy. At least it shows you can get up in the mornings. <laughs> well, if I don't, my mum turfs me out of bed, so that's no problem. <laughs> you come from a big family? There's six of us. I've got four brothers and a sister. I'm the youngest. Ah. I suppose that means they spoil you if you're the baby of the family, eh? No way! I'm the one who gets lumbered with all the jobs around the house. <laughs> They're all bigger than me, you see, so I can't argue. Yes. I mean, that's lot work experience, too. Making breakfast for all that lot. And it's always muggins here who gets stuck with the washing up. Mm. So, how much do you know about the youth training scheme? Well, there's a lot of different schemes, isn't there? They can call them what they like, I suppose. They all come to the same thing in the end. Mm -hmm. It's the way I keep myself off the streets, really. Yes, well, I'm not sure the manpower services would agree with you. Now, you know you'd be required to do 13 weeks further education while you're with us. Oh, no, I thought I was finished with schoolwork. I was glad to see the back of the place. <laughs> it probably felt the same about me. There'd be some literacy, numeracy, understanding computers. But a lot of the course is what is known as life skills. Well, what's that when it's a hub? Well, it's partly to do with getting along with people. Your workmates, for example. And there'd be some things like uh, budgeting, taxation, insurance. Ewell and Boo, the part of a group of local employers who set up their own scheme within the YTS. Yeah, yeah, well, I can already read, write and add up. I'm not seeing to get on with people, OK? 
Look, lad, nobody owes you a living. We can only help you if you let us. I never asked anyone to help me. I just want a job. If you give me a chance, I'll work hard. Why is the will? That's well, I'm glad to hear that. Hey, what are you been doing? Well. Oh, okay. How'd you get on then? Oh, well, no, soon enough. Probably sorn out now. Yeah. Well, I didn't break much to any of that lot. It seemed a pretty average bunch to me. Some good, some bad, most of them in between. Bring your chair round. Well, we've only got three places to fill, so I think we can agree on who to chuck out first. Who did you have in mind? Let me see. Uh, Charles Stevens. He didn't impress me at all. How did you get on, Charles? All right. I reckon I did all right. I answered all his questions OK. No. He didn't have very much to say for himself. Might be all right underneath, but if he doesn't say anything, then there's no way you can take a chance. Then there was uh, Laura Gregory. Oh, I don't reckon I could survive a year of that bloke breathing down my neck. He was a real creep. I thought she was a real freak. Generation gap. I don't think I could cope with all that hair. It'll be a different colour next week. Yeah, it's probably even worse. I think you might be making a mistake. Well, you didn't like her, did you? Well, she seemed brighter than most of them. I mean, it might not be your idea of fashion, but it certainly took a lot of thought to put that outfit together. Oh, yes, but I mean, think of the impression she'll make on her customers. Oh, all right, we'll come back to her later. Now, uh, Claudia Richardson, yeah, she seemed a good prospect. I bet you'd rather stay here if you got the chance, Claudia. No, not really. I don't want to be serving tea and washing up when I'm 40, do I? At least if I got into a big firm, I might have some prospects. Yeah, she was the only one who'd taken the trouble to find out about the firm. It's got to be a good sign. Yeah. And uh, Brenda Sykes seemed a bright girl. Mm. Lots of enthusiasm. He said they got a great sports club. I'd like that. And all those sports show that she's used to being part of a team. Yeah, it's easy to show enthusiasm for a ten-minute interview. Working here might be different. Well, that's the good thing about the YTS. Gives you a chance to see how they shape up over a year. Mm. What about Mick Dawes? How do you get on them, Mick? Well, I told him what I thought the way to yes. Well, I don't see why I should pretend I think it's great when I don't. Can't blame me for telling the truth. I told him I work hard. That's what's important, isn't it? Suppose, uh, another one like Madam with the air. Oh, he's a good talker, I'll grant you, but I, I don't think I want to work with a kid who has a chip on his shoulder. Life's too short for all that moaning. He said he'd work hard. I think I believe him. Yes, yeah, I think uh, laughing boy, what's his name? Uh, Winston Barrett. Oh. He's a safer bet. He seemed a lot more cheerful. Probably tried to fit in a bit more. I went down a tree. Oh. I reckon he's got good taste. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like you said, isn't it? All down to first impressions. You might be missing out on the best of the bunch here. Yeah. All right, then. Well, let's go through them again. And I'll make a short list. Steve. Hello. I wasn't expecting you to pick me up. No, well, I had to go down the job centre and uh, I thought I'd drop by on my way back. There's nothing wrong, is there? Yeah. Heard about that interview. Mm hmm. I wasn't even shortlisted. Oh, no. Great, isn't it? It's me trying to decide whether to take it or not, and they don't even think I'm good enough. Oh, hello. I was hoping I'd catch you. Oh. Let me give you a lift again. Oh, no, no, it's OK, Mr. Prentice. Uh, we'll catch the bus, thanks. No, I insist. I, uh, I have an ulterior motive, you see. I'd be grateful for a bit more advice from your wife. Oh. She's been helping me with the trainees' interviews, you know. I see. What can I do for you, Mr. Prentice? Well, I've been thinking over what you said. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should give some of these kids the benefit of the doubt. After all, they've got it pretty tough these days. They've only yeah. got a bit cynical. You weren't such a bad lot, I suppose. I think you've got a flat tyre, Mr. Prentice. Oh? Those bloody kids. Well, you can't be sure it was one of them. Oh, yes, yes, I can. If I get to know who did it, they'll never work in this place as long as I'm here. Oh, give them the benefit of the doubt, you said. What they need is a damn good hiding.
next this morning. And